today I'm going to show you my uh, latest creation thing. It is, uh, it's basically a Raspberry Pi XBMC or a Cody as they now call it. Uh, and it's, I guess you'd call it an HTPC. So it's inside of this uh, 3.5 inch external hard drive case that I bought like a couple years ago. It's about 16 bucks on Amazon. And I gutted it, I took out the uh, original uh, USB to uh, PADA or SATA adapter, and instead I crammed in two 80 gigabyte PADA hard drives inside of this uh, mount thing for 3.5 to 2.5 inch drives, and that's just screwed on. And I also mounted the uh, Raspberry Pi B Plus in the back. It is not the uh, quad-core Raspberry Pi 2 because uh, it works just fine uh, decoding HD 1080p video. So I just stuck with that. I have this little uh, Wi-Fi antenna screwed onto the back. And that goes all the way to this dongle, which is gutted. These are uh, two of those like mini adapter PADA to USB things with the SATA that I removed. Because I didn't need it. Uh, I used PADA drives because I just had them laying around and they were uh, doing nothing except collecting dust. So I decided to format them and uh, put them in this. And here is a uh, a uh, buck converter that converts my 12 volts down into 5 volts at like 3 amps max. I didn't have a, or the reason I used it was because I didn't have a 5 volt adapter that was able to produce more than uh, two and a half amps, which this needs total. I checked it with a bench power supply. And, uh, but I did have, you know, like according to a, I don't remember the law, but it's like a uh, power is always the same, sorta, with a little bit of loss. So at uh, 12 volts at like one and a half amps, I'm able to get five volts at three or two and a half amps. And I have tons of the uh, 12 volt adapters, so I just used that. And I fucked up the barrel jack a bit. I don't know if you can see it, but I did break it off when trying to mount it into this uh, metal thing. Uh, I cut it up. I'm gonna 3D print a new back IO shield when I get my uh, my room all set up again. My 3D printer is kind of in parts at the moment since we're uh, kind of redoing our house a bit. That's why this is just all ghetto rigged <laughs> but uh yeah i've been using it for a couple days now even with the cap on uh, it doesn't get warm at all uh, i used to have a small fan inside but i took it out because one it was noisy and two it never really got super warm or warm enough to hurt anything uh so aside from the uh, the two uh USB hard drive things. There's also the Wi-Fi dongle, which I said, and a little keyboard thing so that I can control it with this from the couch, you know. And uh, the signal, surprisingly, is not uh, bothered at all by this aluminum case. Like, it works all the way from the kitchen. I can still control it. And also, I can use the uh, Android app to control XBMC through, uh, through the uh, remote server. Uh, currently, the way I transfer files to this is either by downloading them directly or uh, using the Samba server and uh, SSH so I can move around files and copy them from another computer around the house. And that is basically it. I was uh, watching some anime to test out its HD because uh, I just added this Wi-Fi thing right now. and. Yeah, it's all been going pretty well. If you uh, want more details on schematics, just uh, post a comment. Bye.